Hello and welcome to Getting a Healthy Facebook Heart. Using Facebook Insights and Facebook Graph Search to create content your true fans will love. Before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to Schweiki Media. Thank you so much for making this webinar possible and inviting me to speak about Facebook Graph Search and Facebook Insights. Before we dive into Facebook Insights and Graph Search, let's quickly review the parts of your social media body. Your website is your brain, your social platforms are your heart, and your blood are your newsletters and content that you're posting to your social platforms to engage your audience in order to pump that healthy blood from your heart to your brain and back again. Now, I won't get into each part in depth. It was covered in a previous Schweiki Media webinar called Unlocking the Power of Organic Social Media, and I encourage you to check it out if you haven't already. Getting back to your social media body, one of the things I can't stress enough is that your social platforms are the heart of your social media body. You need a healthy heart to pump healthy blood to your healthy brain in order for your social media body to function properly. So in order to have a healthy social media heart, we need to understand how to truly engage with our audience on social platforms. And given Facebook's recent algorithm change to organic reach plummeting to zero, now is more important than ever to understand who your fans really are that you're trying to engage on social platforms, especially Facebook. But one thing I've seen time and time again is a common problem many businesses face and have faced since the beginning of businesses incorporating social media into their marketing strategy. And some don't even realize it's a problem. So what is this problem? Businesses are using social media as a gigantic megaphone. They're so busy shouting their message the wrong way that fans tune them out or eventually ignore them completely. So when a business does have something valuable to share, no one is listening. What businesses should be doing is focusing on using social platforms to build relationships. This helps build trust and brand awareness. Instead, businesses make the common mistake of keeping social media about their product or their service. If you want your customers to engage with you, you need to know how to engage in a conversation with them on social media. Now this is easier said than done because all businesses are different and fans of businesses are different as well. Different personalities, different behaviors, different times of day they're online or even on a mobile phone. And all of these factors have to be taken into consideration before even creating content to engage them with. But to give you an idea of what I mean, here's a hilarious video of a Superman and Batman discussing the problems they have with each other's posting habits. So, what you doing over there? Just posting an update. Yeah, uh, we need to talk about your status updates. Why? Um, because they're coming across a little arrogant. Arrogant? What do you mean? Well, let's take a look here, shall we? Let's pull up your profile. Here we go. Just save the day. Just save the day. Just got back from saving the day. Here I go to save the day. Just save the day twice. I'm saving the day. Just save the day tagged with Wonder Woman. Just save the day. And you just posted something new. What does it say? Ah, just saved the day. Yeah, I just rescued these people while you're reading that. Well, that's my point. What? You're flooding everyone's updates with the same message. You think you could tone it down? Tone down the earth constantly needing my assistance? No, I don't think I can because I've been at it for a long time and it doesn't seem to be letting up. Well, maybe you shouldn't post your victories online every time. Some people might take it the wrong way. Are you jealous? No, I'm not jealous. My updates are awesome. Check it out. Okay, well that is a debatable definition of awesome, but how is that not arrogant? Because it's the truth. Well, so is what I post. I save the day all the time. That's what I do. Save the day. I'm probably gonna save the day tomorrow. And I'm gonna be Batman tomorrow. Because I'm Batman. <laughs> I need to tweet that real quick. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video, but it goes into two of the problems businesses today are facing when engaging with fans on social media. 
As seen in the video, the first problem is they're engaging in too much self-promotion or discussing too much about their product and their services, when really, businesses should be focusing on profiling who's exactly engaging with their content and creating content for that specific person or niche that will most likely comment and share their content. But the biggest challenge I see businesses face is that we're still following the old traditional funnel system when thinking of content to post on social platforms. Before social media, businesses had just a list of their products and services. They would then target that market through a series of advertising and promotions. This would bring customers into their store who would eventually purchase a product. Social media, however, has completely flipped this funnel upside down. Instead of thinking about our products and services, businesses need to be thinking about the specific profiles of their target market, and they need to understand these problems and challenges facing that specific market. Now, every business is different. Every business has a different customer, a different profile group that's going to want to engage and hear from that business. So one funnel doesn't work anymore. It's a customized funnel each business needs to create based off of who's really engaging with their content. And by profiling our engaged market, a business can then create posts that engage with that market. So we can begin to develop that relationship with customers using relevant and engaging content. Businesses can further build this relationship by offering solutions their product or service provides. And by staying top of mind with these customers, we become their first choice when they actually want to make that purchase. Even if a competitor has a better offer, staying top of mind and having that relationship with your customer will keep that customer coming back repeatedly. Now, like I said, the most important part of this social media funnel equation is knowing who your specific market is. And that varies by each business, which is why using Facebook Insights comes into play. By looking at our Facebook Insights, we can see not only who just liked our page, but who's specifically engaging with our page. And when your audience engages with you on social platforms, this helps build relationships with them that can later lead to a greater chance of conversion if it's done the right way. So let's dive into Facebook Insights and Facebook Graph Search to show you what I'm talking about. First, you want to be sure that you're logged into your Facebook page and have access to the admin panel. If you do have access to the admin panel, click on See Insights. If you're not manager of your Facebook page, this is a separate problem that I have covered in a different webinar. So if you do have a Facebook page for your business, be sure that you are manager of your Facebook page. Otherwise, you will not be able to access this information. Once inside Facebook Insights, you have six different options to choose from. Overviews, likes, reach, visits, posts, and people. And we're gonna keep this webinar really short and simple, and we're only gonna go into two different categories, people and posts. So first, let's look at people. When you first look at people, you'll see a demographic makeup of your fans who have liked your page, whether it's men, women, and the age range of who's liked your page and which age range has liked your page the most. This is good information to have, but again, this is just information on who has liked your page. What you really want to do is find out who's engaged with your page. So what you're going to need to click on is people engaged once you get into the people's tab. Now, according to this Facebook page, the most engagement comes from women ages 35 to 44. Even though women make up less than half of the overall likes, they make up 60% of the overall engagement. That's huge. This is why it's so important to see who's really engaging with your page rather than just simply liking your page. Now, keep in mind that statistics vary for each business. But from the Facebook pages that I've managed, I do see that women consistently engage on Facebook far more than men. 
and in the ages between 25 to 44. But again, each Facebook page is different and you'll need to look at who's engaged with your page to determine your demographic for your Facebook page to market to. Now for the next thing that we'll cover are your posts. Click on posts at the top of the page to be taken to this view. You'll get a graph of Facebook fan activity. The highest points of the graph mark the highest number of fans online at one time. So when doing research, make a note of the days of the week and the times of the day that your fans are most likely online. Take it a step further by selecting each day of the week. A line will pop up outlining Facebook users for that specific day in comparison to the general graph. If you notice peaks or lines above the graph, these would be the most opportune times to post engaging content. Make a note of any peak times and be aware of any dips in the graph. Avoid posting during these dip times on your Facebook Insights. You'll get a better sense of what days your fans are most likely to be online, as well as when they're not. So now you know who to post to and the time of day to post. The next question is, what do you post? And this is where Facebook graph search comes in handy. By doing a Facebook graph search of other pages liked by your fans, you can discover different pages your fans engage with. Exploring each page to find high volume engaging posts can also help give you a better idea of how you can engage with your fans. Take it a step further by conducting a Facebook graph search of your competitors. Now you can create relevant and valuable content that can help drive engagement away from your competitors by discovering pages and content liked by fans of your competitors. Does that make sense? There's so many uses for Facebook graph search that you can use to get a better picture of what your market likes and what they're engaging with. You can also use this knowledge when creating a Facebook ad. By targeting pages and interests of your fans and fans of your competitors, your ad can help pinpoint the exact market that's most likely to be interested in hearing from you and people that will most likely turn into those fans that convert into customers. Now here's an example of a Facebook ad from a client of mine that I considered using the megaphone ad approach. They were creating an ad and didn't use their Facebook insights or graph search to understand who was truly engaging with their content. Now their ad did reach over 37,000 people and it saw a click-through rate of 0.055%, which is above average. The average click-through rate of a Facebook ad is like 0.01%, so it was a little bit higher than average. They ended up spending over $12 and only saw 349 actions taking place from website clicks, um, page likes, and so on. Now, I created a similar ad, but using Facebook Insights and Graph Search, I was able to create a funnel ad and in the first two days of this ad running, it reached over 12,000 people, which is far less than the 37,000, but saw a click-through rate of over 2%. We spent just over $10, but resulted in almost 450 actions. That's almost 100 actions more than the previous ad, which reached three times more people. By the time the ad was over, it reached 32,000 people, had a click-through rate of 1.5%, but created almost 2,000 total actions from video plays, website clicks, post likes, and so on. So by using Facebook Insights and Facebook Graph Search, you can create ads that perform better and reach the right audience that wants to hear from you. So let's recap. First, you have to remember that it's social media not social media. Drop the megaphone and make it personal. Customers want to hear from a person and know that a person is on the other end of the conversation. Use Facebook Insights to find out who your true fans really are. Not just who liked your page, who's really engaging with your content. Then post according to your engaged fans' behavior. What day are they most likely on Facebook? What time of day are they most likely on Facebook? 
and then take it a step further by using Facebook graph search to create targeted Facebook ads that see more engagement by reaching the right people who really want to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me and I want to give a special thank you to Schweiki Media for helping make this webinar possible. My name is Avital Eidenbaum and my Twitter handle is Avid Avital. Thank you so much everyone.